Fabiano a draw with Hikaru with the black pieces. We had him in earlier. He was quite surprised with your choice of the Queen's Gambit accepted. How did you decide to go for that today? Uh, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't something that I thought of just before the game. I, I played against Anish in, in London and, I, you know, I like the opening. Um, I thought it would come as a bit of a surprise to him because it is still a very rare choice in my um, repertoire. And I was hoping that he would go for... Uh, <laughs> Say it. <laughs> A premature attack in the game, <laughs> but um, but he played pretty solidly. He took on c5 and went for the ending, and I think it was just a boring draw. Now, when yesterday the pairings came out, you were not exactly very happy to have a double black against Hikaru, but the game went uh, pretty well for you. How do you feel going into the last round with the white pieces? I mean, my chances to win the tournament are pretty much over. I mean, I, I'm probably like a point behind, and and I can't count on everyone losing. <laughs> um, so, but I mean, that probably ended when I, when I lost to Nigel. Um, so I just want to play, you know, I, I think after I lost to Nigel, I played uh, like three pretty good games. At least no, no big mistakes or anything. Um, so if I just, you know, finish on a decent note, then that'll be fine, fine for me. Right, now for a good finish at the end, you would have to probably go a bit all out tomorrow? I mean, I have white, I, I hope. <laughs> so, um, so I shouldn't do anything crazy, I mean, I, I think I'll have chances to play normally and, and press for a win. Right, now just coming back to today's game, where do you think he could have missed his chances or how were you able to equalize so quickly with black? Um, yeah, I, I mean, the Queen's game except is very, it's just very solid. And even the ending, white has a very small advantage, but if black plays well, it's usually symbolic. Why don't we see it so much at the top level then? I'm not, I'm not sure, you know, the, the most recent game I can remember where which was extremely theoretically important at the top level was um, Kremnik Karyakin from the candidates. Um, and, you know, they played this very critical E4 line and, and White scored a pretty uh, convincing victory. So maybe that game or some others, you know, convinced players that, that it's not such a, um, that it's not the best opening, but I think that, you know, it's, uh, it works pretty well. Right, well, we wish you all the best for the last game. Hope to see you tomorrow back in the studio. Thanks.